Now we're gonna look at the test feature in Quizlet, which is really very, very powerful indeed. It's got lots of different things that we can do as we will see. So we're gonna come down to the test icon here, click on that, and immediately it started to create a test on our cards. And before we've put in any kind of options at all, you can see that we've got some matching uh, activities there. So numbers on the one side and letters on the other side. And it's simply the students have to put the corresponding correct letter to the corresponding number there. If we scroll down, there are a number of multiple choice questions. And further down, there are some true and false questions as well. So let's look at how we can make this, uh, we can build these questions, these tests up. So if I come down here, there are two, two um, icons or areas I want to draw your attention to. The first is options and the second is print test, which we will look at in a little while. First of all, let's look at options. If we go to options, there's all sorts of things that we can do here. First of all, if I come over here, this particular set of cards has 47 uh, items possibly too many but that's not an issue for the test uh, feature because we can determine how many we want now in this case I've put in 20 I might decide that I actually want 15 so I'm going to have 15 um, for the moment I've unclicked written and I'll explain why in just a minute as well but you can see from uh, previously we have matching activities there so you can select that or deselect that we've got multiple choice and true or false now Let's just quickly have a look at the written uh, feature, the written option, and see why that might not be suitable for us and for our learners, um, because it depends upon the content that we input initially in our when we built out the quiz, the flashcards, to as to how well our students can do with written. So we're going to go to written just now. Before we do that, though, you can select all of the all of the star uh, sorry all of the cards within uh, your group here. So that will be a random fifteen out of all of them. Or if you wanted to, if you've studied previously, your students have studied previously and starred any cards which they perhaps have struggled with or need more attention uh, to, then they will own, you can you can choose just those uh, particular cards, which I think is a really great little feature as well. In terms of um, starting, you can be quizzed with. Um, just the term first or the definition or both let's keep it let's keep it for term for the moment now we're going to go to written and there's a little bit of a caution here because let's have a look at it it's it it isn't always perfect because you can see here I'm given the term obesity so that would be a question what is obesity and the student has to reproduce exactly what is written initially on the cards and if they can't produce that word for word, they're not going to get the answer. And I think it'd be quite difficult. Certainly if, if you've got lengthy pieces of content, lengthy pieces of text, then that's going to be difficult for them to reproduce. So I think I would probably struggle with that. So I'm going to come out of that and get rid of that and go multiple choice. And multiple choice, I think, is probably the best one to use. It's personal to me. But of course, for most of our exams, multiple choice is of course what they are going to come up against. So let's create a new test with just multiple choice. Now I've got 15 multiple choice questions and that's probably, even though there's not a direct question there, much more like what students are going to receive in uh, it will, or come across in their exams. And we can work on exam technique, we can work, work them through which one of these is very obviously wrong and they can, uh, you know, you can work with them and to help them develop their skill and competency of using multiple choice questions. So very quickly, I'm going to go through this without looking really properly at the questions and answers and just show you what happens once I've done this, because super quickly it actually builds out and gives us feedback, which is probably one of the most powerful things about using technology in education is the, the immediacy of feedback. So I finished the quiz, I've got 53%. Now what's absolutely great about this is it will tell me straight away what I got wrong, that was what my response was, and then that was what the actual response is. So you can get what you got wrong, understanding of what the correct answer is, and then we move on. It also tells me, you can see in green, which ones I got correct, so that's very, very, very useful as well. So uh, something to be aware of. Now let's look at the print function. So we can use the print function a couple of ways. If someone's just taken a test and they've got 53% or whatever they've got, you can keep that as a record. 
And the way we do that is by going down to print test. So your students might be on a bank of PCs, for example, in your classroom or wherever you're using this. Print test, and then that particular test is turned into a PDF, which is ready to print. And it's got the information that they've just done. So they've got what's wrong, and also they've got the right answer as well. We've got their score there. Obviously, they can write their name in there, and then we can print that. So that's one option, which could be, could be useful. Secondly, however, if I go back and decide I'm going to have, I'm going to create a test with 20 questions. They're going to be multiple choice. Create new test. I've now got a fresh test built at random for my 47 cards. And if I go to print test here, there it is. It's all built up. And uh, you can see that's on a couple of pages. All I need to do is go over to print select that and away we go i could come over to here and change that rather than printing it i could save it or print it as a pdf which might be a useful thing to do because then once you've got it as a pdf you can then put that out electronically as well for them to refer to in in the future so there's a few options for you there with the print uh, facility as well